Hi everyone! So I know I have a lot of male viewers on here, as well as female viewers, and I want to do readings for um, men as well as for women. You know, I want to let you guys know what's going on with your feminines. So this would apply to, this applies to gay relationships as well, so male-male relationships also. Just depends on whoever is in feminine energy. You know, anyone that identifies as male. I'm also going to be doing readings for the feminines, um, so that would apply to anyone who uh, is in feminine energy or anyone that just, you know, um, resonates as female. So yeah, let's get started. Okay. And so and again, don't get caught up on words. Like, just ignore how I word thing how I word things. This is just if I say male, female, whatever, it's, it's whatever energy you're in, so I probably, I do typically just say, like, divine masculine and divine feminine, but again, it could be two men or two women, it's, it's whatever your story is, whatever your situation is, um, okay, so what does your feminine want you to know, so this reading is for those, for the masculines, those that identify, that are in masculine energy, or just those that identify as male, what do you need to know? What does she want you to know right now? What would she like to tell you right now? What would she like to tell you? I swear I felt, I felt one of them. I felt, I felt someone say, get your shit together. A lot of you do have your shit together, though, you know? They want, well, they want a message. <laughs> they want a message. They do. A lot of them want a message. Some of, the, you, some of you have messaged, though, and you're waiting to, to um, hear back from them, though. I think some of you have either messaged and you're waiting to hear back, or your feminine is letting you know that she wants you to message, that she wants you to reach out finally. She wants... Hmm. So we got apology regret here and it's connected to mental instability. So this is either, your feminine is either saying that she's sorry for her mental instability, like this could be depression, anxiety, bipolar, it could be anything, but if she's, basically if, if her mental instability has affected you in a negative way, she wants to apologize for it. She's feeling a lot of regret. So this could be like anger, like if in the past she lashed out at you out of anger, or if she's like been distant, like if she gets depressed and isolates herself and she gets detached, or just any kind of, just I think you would know what your situation is, but any kind of like mental instability, like hot and cold energy or isolating, you know, detaching from the world, um, lashing out out of anger, anxiety attacks, anything of that sort, if it's affected your relationship negatively, like caused arguments or caused her to run from your connection, she is feeling a lot of regret for that. She is trying to get herself mentally stable so that she can be better for you. She doesn't want to lash out at you. She doesn't want to isolate herself from you or from the people she loves. She, she wants to be mentally stable. She's just having a hard time figuring out how to do so. Uh, this could be, so you might be getting a message from her eventually regarding this, like uh, you might be getting an apology from her for the mental instability. Um, the second scenario that could possibly be, there's probably two groups here of, of um, those in masculine energy that are watching this video. So the second possible scenario is that you're the one that's kind of been detached or isolated or lashed out or done something due to mental instability, um, maybe detached, and she's just hoping that you show some regret for that, like she's hoping that you work through that energy and that you stop thinking it's okay to ghost her or detach whenever you get depressed or whenever you have an episode or whenever, you know, you get in that like dark headspace. She, she doesn't, she wants you to know it's not okay for you to just ghost her or just detach from her or detach from the world. You know, she wants you to show some regret and she wants you to message her anyway. Even if you're not in a great headspace, she still wants to hear from you. She still, she wants to see consistency from you. So she wants open and honest communication. So you can tell her, hey, I have 
this mental illness or that mental illness and I'm working through this I'm depressed I do isolate sometimes like she knows there's a, there's a conscious awareness here so if you're mentally unstable she already knows you know what I mean like you can't hide that from her if you've been trying to just kind of deal with everything on your own the message is here is that like you can't really do that like she already knows about whatever mental illness you have she probably knows what it is she probably is familiar with it she knows she's aware of it already so it's not something you can hide from her um and she's basically saying like she loves you and she supports you despite all of this like she doesn't care how dark it gets she doesn't care if you get angry or if you if you get depressed or anxious like she's she's understands she probably if you guys are life partners like soulmates twin flames she probably has similar to that she's gone through you know like your feminine has a lot of empathy she has a lot of life experience so she understands completely and she holds space for that and she's willing to be there for you through it she's willing to support you through it she's willing she accepts you and loves you just as you are mental instability and all the thing is though she's not okay with you hurting her due to the mental instability you know she's not okay with you ghosting her and detaching from her she wants you to be consistently in her life consistently being open and honest and consistently communicating her with her and showing her an effort consistently messaging her and you know getting getting through the ups and downs together getting through the mental illness together like supporting each other being each other's rock you know like the mental illness is fine like she totally embraces you and accepts you just as you are a mental illness and all the one thing she doesn't accept though is you being inconsistent with her and ghosting her whenever you get in a dark place you know what i mean she wants you to to reach out consistently and you can message her and you can straight up say like hey i'm in a dark place i'm feeling depressed i'm feeling anxious i am I'm going through a lot, but I still want you in my life, you know, like that, that means everything to her, just that you're showing the effort that you're communicating how you're feeling, even if what you're feeling is dark, it's okay, you just need to keep the communication open and honest, and you need to continue communicating, <clears throat> this could be a new love, this is like a destined encounter that your guides have brought in for you, so this might be a new person, you guys might be wrapping up karmic cycles with other people or other situations, um let's see here yeah i think that the isolation and the loneliness is getting to her um let's see I'm trying to look at this reading here there's isolation loneliness sadness finances career so if she's the one isolating from you, she's feeling empty, she's in a dark place, and she's sad, but instead of, like, dealing with the pain and dealing with the mental illness, it's like maybe she lashed out at you and she doesn't know how to apologize and she doesn't know what to say about it, um, so she's just kind of focusing on her finances and career right now and trying to, almost like she's got this mask on, like this facade, like she's trying not to feel this pain. Um, if the story is that, so again, two different groups that I'm probably channeling here of different masculines that are drawn to this video. If the story is that you're the one isolating, you're the one kind of ghosting her, not communicating with her, um, it is making her feel alone, it is making her feel empty, it's making her feel sad. You know, she is kind of feeling isolated and she's just wanting communication from you. And she might be focusing on her finances and career just because she's trying to distract herself she might just be working over like working too often like overworking herself um just kind of like a go 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 energy because she doesn't want to sit down and feel all this pain and feel this longing for you when you're not reaching out to her you know because the the lack of communication is hurting her so they're yeah someone's focusing on finances and career because they just don't want to feel all this pain they don't they don't know how to handle all of it i mean it could be too yeah if she if she did something she might feel like she doesn't have a chance with you anymore like she maybe feels like she messed up too much and so she's not if you're in that one that that group where it's your person where the the female is the one that's kind of in the mentally unstable energy and she's having this regret then it just might be that she's holding on to pride a little bit and she doesn't know if you would give her another chance 
maybe you guys argued in the past or something and she's just not sure what you would say and so she's like sad but she's trying to just again hold on to ego and be kind of stubborn and prideful and prideful and focus on her career so she doesn't have to feel all this pain so just kind of running on empty right now let's see if we can get some more clarification cards really quick <laughs> We've got betrayal, jealousy, conflict. We've got submissive and weak willed. We've got assertiveness, forward movement, divine intervention. So, assertiveness for forward movement, assertive uh, motivation. We've got divine intervention synchronicity and we have publicity in social media yeah this was either somebody creating problems that weren't there like being jealous or competitive or just just severe trust issues or just causing conflict and drama due to their own fears and insecurities and mental instability is kind of what i get from that it could also be someone that not necessarily caused drama, but somebody who's just like, look how defensive she is. She's got this knife. She's like ready for, she's ready to be attacked. And it's like, there's no one trying to attack her. You know what I mean? Like, and, but she's so on edge and she's so afraid of getting hurt that she's just expecting the worst. And maybe she just did not do right by you, you know, because I see the submissive, weak, willed energy. It's like someone's like digging their claws in over here. Um... So either, again, there's two different groups of masculines that are drawn to this video, I feel. So for that group, it, it's basically saying, yeah, she feels like she did you wrong with her mental illness, with her insecurities, her fears, her unnecessary drama. She feels like she did you wrong and she should have appreciated you more. And she's wanting to do right by you now. For others, I feel like she's actually been in pain and she's been she's kind of getting to a point where she's guarded because she's tired of waiting for this message to come in. She's tired of the lack of communication. And so you got that sweet, open, loving, cutesy side of her before, but now you're going to start getting this more like kind of guarded, cold, distrusting side of her a little bit more because she's starting to give in to her fears and her the pessimism because you know you haven't reached out and so she's like well is this ever going to come to fruition like is my masculine ever going to actually talk to me are we ever going to get this ball rolling so she's starting to get scared i think you've been scared you've had anxiety about this connection and she's probably picking up on your anxiety and fear regarding the connection and just the lack of communication too is probably making her scared so she's starting to get defensive as well and I think you're going to, I think this is you being submissive actually to her pain. I think maybe you weren't fully aware of her pain before. Maybe, I know men see communication online, like text messages, social media. They see it much differently than women do. Like with, with us, if, I, if, if I, the man I love goes like two or three days without messaging me, it really kind of hurts me. Like I, it just, it does, it hurts. And I think men kind of just see it as like, oh, it's just social media or it's just text messaging. But it's like, if that's the only time you guys talk, then that means everything to her. Like, she would love, like, cute little good morning and good night text. She would love to just hear from you every day, even if it's only for five minutes, just you telling her how your day went. You know, the lack of communication really does hurt. And I think just men and women kind of have that different perspective when it comes to texting and social media, where it's like they, you know, if you don't text back, it kind of, it means more to us, I think, you know, I think it's just, again, it's not, it's not saying anything bad about you guys, I think it's just a different perspective, like, I think a lot of men don't take text and calls and stuff as seriously, they're kind of more, more about face-to-face -face communication, whereas women, like, do kind of overanalyze the, like, the words sometimes, I don't know if that makes sense, but we, we do, we take social media more seriously, I think, overall, but that's a stereotype, it's, it's, it varies from person to person, but anyway, um, either, yeah, either your person has hurt you, and they're feeling regret for their, for their way their mental illness allowed them to treat you, and they're coming forward, or, you know, you've been hurting your person by being isolated, and kind of ghosting, and, you're going to start realizing how much pain they're in and you're going to move forward 
and somebody is going to have just courage and assertiveness and just this burst of energy to make this forward movement because this is true love that you guys have here the divine is intervening you know your your guys one or both of you are going to start seeing you've been seeing synchronicities the synchronicities like 11 11 the numbers the you know certain songs coming on the radio certain movie clips certain you know hearing a certain conversation when you pass someone by just all those synchronicities all those those just channeled feelings and whatnot are going to get stronger and stronger the divine is just guiding this connection and trying to push one or both of you to have the courage and have the assertiveness to have this open honest communication and move forward together as a couple and um, support each other through your through your mental instabilities and your insecurities and just work through it together and just be there for each other through the the darkness and the good times I think some of you have a fear that like your person won't love you if they know about your mental illness or the darkness in you but like they already know about that and they already love you unconditionally just as you are so you don't need to be afraid that they won't accept it because they already do accept it they already do want you to come to them just as you are like you don't need to be perfect for them they just want to finally have you around they want you to finally be here with them i do feel like something is connected to publicity or social media i actually posted about that not long ago i think it was my my last post um on here on youtube that card came up too and i was getting a lot of energy connected to social media where there is there might the divine might be guiding you guys through social media like you see them commenting on your mutual friends posts and you guys end up talking or maybe messaging each other or maybe like they're stalking you on social media you're stalking them maybe you're seeing their posts and you're starting to realize that they're in pain or maybe they're seeing your posts and they're starting to realize that you're in pain something something about your post or what you're saying on social media is being divinely guided to bring this connection back to reconciliation so i hope that makes sense Let's see if we can get any final messages just really quick. I'm aware that you're my soulmate or my twin flame. You're the one. So yeah, this person knows that they're, this is true love they have in front of them. I have commitment issues. I've gotten used to being alone. So that's for that group. Again, two different groups of masculines that I read here. So that's for that group where they're the ones that kind of lashed out and ran and hurt you. They're just, they've gotten used to being alone and they're kind of working through that now. There's so much that they want to say to you. They do want to come forward and apologize. I communicate with you through song and music and songs and movies. So again, divine intervention, a lot going on behind the scenes. I was afraid of how quickly I was falling in love with you. So I ran. I regret what I said to you. Yeah, there's some, there's something they said that they regret for sure. Um, yeah, I want to fix this, but I'm not sure where to start. So again, two different groups of masculines here. And for the ones that it was your person that messed up and not you that messed up they're they're really wanting to apologize for lashing out or for for ghosting or distancing themselves from you when they were in a dark place they they just didn't know how to let you in and they're they're wanting to fix this they're not sure if you're going to take them back though and so they're kind of just sad right now and they're kind of trying to ignore and avoid their pain and avoid the healing that they need to do by just focusing on work and finances so i hope this resonates um I'd love to hear from DMs, you know, hear what your story is. It's interesting channeling you guys because, I mean, most of most of the readings on YouTube are geared towards women. So it's really, I'd love to hear your stories as well. Um, and I'll be doing these readings more and more frequently. So if it resonates, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want a private reading, my contact info is below. Thank you.